Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing Kazooie Kazooie, and uh, we're in Gobi's Valley. Haven't seen any Gobies yet. Yeah, so uh, I'm here, wherever here may be. Like, how many? Uh, I need to, like, oh, you know what? I know one thing I need to do. Uh, let's start flying. Uh, yeah, so hi. Hey there, on Spagal playing Gobi's Valley. We're probably almost definitely going to end this world here today. Uh, yesterday went really well. We ended up doing like a whole lot of stuff And now we're climbing up the Sphinx where there's like the only flight pad I think in this place uh, so We need a, the the ability to beat barge because of this target here. It's very subtle <laughs> There's a big target with a bird on it and then it opens that door down there, very suspicious, so then you gotta land, there you go, that counts as landing, you slide down, you go in, well, there you go! And that's why you can't just do this level early, it's because you need, you know, you need to have this move from the previous world, the world of snow. And then, so that is where that conflict lies. You can find a skull here. Hi. It's Ruby. Oh, I love his little pet, though. This is a little like Mole Jinjo. Very good. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, there's a treasure somewhere. Alright. Alright. Well, sounds great. I'm sure there's gonna be a puzzle involved in getting that treasure. I'm concerned with getting all the music notes, too. It's also part of a treasure. There you go. All notes gone. What a Mysterion. And then you can go here and go like, oh, there's a treasure up there, huh? I wonder what that could mean. Could it mean that jiggy? Probably. All right, well, let's lay some eggs in this basket. Oh, that snake is getting excited. He's gonna be eaten tonight. Is so excited his basket starts moving faster. It's like sub basket. I don't know. Don't don't worry about it. Hey, see, see, you just delay your laying each time. Thousand things. I'm gonna hang out on top. All right. Looking forward to your help there, buddo. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. That's okay then. And there we go! Now I can do a dance on top of a snake's head! Yeah! Three more to get. And two hexagons, though. Something that I realized... I haven't had any hexagons yet in this place. Now, I know where one of them are. I made it appear inside a cactus, as you do. Maybe I should get that going? Whoa! Hi! You're having fun? Well, I mean, if you're gonna have a mysterious guy pop out of the sand with a hoop hexagon over him, towering... I mean, yeah, like, obviously something's gonna something. Beat the witch! This is an important part of beating the witch, is to flying through all the hoop sandmans. Uh, it's one of those obvious things, like rules of real life that you just don't really think about. Alright, I am between the cacti. Over by Jinxie's face. I think that's his name, I forget if the game reveals it. Like, beyond the ending. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Um... But yeah, like, there's no, like, time limit, so you really... It doesn't seem like... If there were a time limit, like, you would have a little time limit. With a little, like, 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 a uh, little sand dial. Oh, shoot. Well, uh, that's embarrassing. Whoosh! Makes the bear. Yeah, it's still there. Like, you're not even penalized for messing it up and accidentally landing on the diagonal stone rocks. And they're just, like, it's just far enough that you're gonna drift just kind of, like, low enough to ruin it. There we go. That's right beside the Sphinx. It's like, hey, check it out. You were right here not long ago. Well, now I'm the one that's here right now. That's right. That's how words work. They mean what they mean. Normally. Nominally. Go. Get right in. All right. Only joking. What? You're not gonna defeat... Gruntilda, well, you will contribute to her defeat, still, by giving me a jiggy. Like, that's what I understood when you told me that you would defeat 
her. I didn't think it would actually defeat her. So really, I completely misunderstood your lines, thus ensuring that I am not disappointed by the results. That's right, where is that cactus with the hexagon in it? I feel like I should get that done. Where could you be, my friend? There's like an island over there. It's like nothing going. Wonder if that's where one of the remaining things to do is. See, the issue here is that I need to be the right height. Because, like, that's a cactus. Yeah, see here, I would- okay, well, there's a camel here. Well, we're gonna come back, Mr. Camel. I gotta fly around in circles, trying to go inside a very naturally formed cactus with eyeballs. All these qualifiers. Oh man, precise flying! Yeah, I did it! Alright, let's help out this camel who's tied to a rock. What a fool! You're free! All right, look at that guy, stomping. So I never heard him speak. He's also sounding like suffering. I never heard him speak because I just kind of flew by. I didn't really think about that. Hey, I need a ride. All right, well, I need to also restock my red feathers. I just, oh shoot. I'm good. There's no, no shooting. Shooting tooting. Right. Whoa, whoa, wait, you disappear. And then you're gonna reappear? Alright, that's how carpets go! Alright, so, we got... We're missing one hexagon. We're missing one jiggy. Where can those things be? I think I know. Oh my gosh, there's nothing. Okay, I'm a bit ahead of myself. Never mind! Well, if it isn't our old pal Gobi hanging around Leaky, the dried up gross voice squad. I mean, he does. Uh huh. That, that's barely any shade. I guess there is shade on the side, though. Yeah, there is like a cast shadow. Yeah, I know, you want rain. And the feather won't do it. No, there's that line again. <laughs> Zooey, a very clumsy flirt. Uh, no cough? Need water. Alright, look, I'm gonna help you out. Check it out! Animal abuse! Oh, it's the sound he makes! I hate it! He hates it! Everyone's just very, very unpleasant in this experience here. But it has made the tree grow higher! And now he looks really ridiculous! Like, what is going on with you, with your face here, buddy? And I mean, I appreciate the prize. I mean, let's be clear. I did this so that I could get the prize. It's kind of inconvenient to get on top. Yeah, there we go. All the jiggies. But where's that remaining hexagon? That's the voice I used to ask that question. I appreciate Banjo's moves. He really has the rhythm. No, he doesn't. Hey, look at that! He found a new shaded place, this Gobi guy. He's not saying anything? Alright! Yeah, I will conduct violence upon you! For no real reason! I didn't know you swallowed a hexagon! To find some peace and quiet. Good luck with that, Gobi. Whoa, you're just Skyriming that, that mountain there. It's pretty impressive. And there we go! Full completion of Gobi's Valley. We're gonna go here. Look at that. Yeah, this is a. This level went ridiculously well. Like, there's this. Like, I'm gonna go unlock the next world and we're gonna be ready to get there next time. Like, it's just, it just went very well. Like, this is a world constructed of like a lot of smaller challenges, kind of like put side to side and, uh,. I feel like I remembered this world well from the start, and turns out that was very useful. Knowledge is good, pass it on. Alright, so here we are in the bad frame rate land. We're gonna have to do something there. That max note code store for is 100. Those were words. So we all remember that sweet animation of a uh, thing opening up. Alright, I need to destroy this man. Hey buddy, you're destroyed. Good. 
All right, where's that? There you go. So to get this, I think that's kind of neat. Like you kind of have to exploit like a really weird thing about this game is that you don't need to be on a shock pad to shock jump. Like you can just keep on going here and there we go. You catch it from the air. Gobbled. Man, seven jiggies out of uh, ten here in the main world. All right, so to find the picture of the next world, we will have to access that one um, door here that we could not in the before time two worlds ago. Yeah, look at that. 450. That's pretty expensive. But we're getting pretty middle class here in the bear bird combo. Alright, look at this. It's all like icy. Oh, uh, scary faces. Okay. There's like a whole thing here that I kind of forgot about. If you want to go to the bottom, there's a bunch of feathers. That's such a weird price to find, I don't really get it. What am I looking for? It's here! A big old tunnel filled with fear. Don't know what I'm doing at all, but that is nothing new. That's a fish. Can you recognize one when you see it? Spinning skull in the corner, I am going to get it. Alright, we are like, in a very odd place for the future. Whoa, my camera spinning move is pretty good. My taste, also not great. According to that fish, considering he just stopped trying to bite me, he just kind of gave that project up. Well, good. I'm sailing here in the murky depths, looking for things that I don't understand. Uh, look at that sweet tunnel of bricks. This is where everyone hangs out when they don't have any choice. A slightly blue tinge on everything. What's the point? All right, so where are we now? I don't know. Looks pretty scary to me. Let's see, is there anything we can do? Well, there's a ledge we can go up here. And the witch starts to scream at me. It must be hard. Being so dumb, it sounded pretty easy. All right, so look at that. Those sweet sea jumps. It's like I'm playing a ROM hat. You gotta jump, there's a button again, and hey, here's the next world. Yeah, Mad Monster Mansion. That place I remember being pretty big. I wouldn't be surprised if that one was kind of hanging out out there, just kind of looking weird. I wouldn't be surprised if that one ended up taking three videos, but like, at this point, that's a branch. I feel like I can't really trust myself on these on these feelings anymore. Like, I feel like I've been saying that for a while now. All right, fish, egg, fish and egg, fish and egg soup. Can you? Yeah, you can have a fish soup. This is a bit of an irony to it, which just makes it fun. All right, I guess I'm gonna get myself into position towards going where the world we just unlocked is. And that's where we're going to stop. Do, 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 do. There's a tunnel on the other side, that's where we were. Yeah, so this place, we will be returning here. Oh, I should probably get air, actually. <laughs> my air, okay, yeah. Oh, I thought the air was higher. Hmm, I wonder why my memory would pull that prick on me. That trick on me, I spoonered. All right, where are we going? There we go. Big ol' ice place here, and there's nothing else here, right? Well, nah, that's not anything up there. That was just funny shapes they put up there in order to fill out the space. All right, so now we return into... Grunty's powerful pressing the wrong button. No, I wasn't pressing the wrong button because I was pressing a button to put a camera behind me. But when you're on Kazooie, you, you're, you're going, you're facing backwards. That's right. All right, there's ping, ping pot. We would be using it if I was like reloading every time. All right, and to the maw of the witch. All right, we're gonna go into this mode because we really don't want to fall. Precision here more important than speed. Look at that, it's Goldie's Valley. It is the Valley of the Gobi. Never before have we seen this, such a place. And after simulating uh, Grunty's tongue, next time we're going into this cave. Yeah, I'm making the little area around the level. Something with a level. 
I mean, there's like, it's, it's has its own little area and everything. Like, there's a screen transition through that door. And it just feels appropriate, you know? It just feels normal. I don't know. Don't overthink it. <laughs>